Greetings, YouTube world. For those of you that didn't see my short, we have uh, a stash here of toys that I found on the side of the road that, um, you know, people got rid of, probably because they've been sitting forever and they're full of, gelled full of ethanol. So uh, let's get started. And no, I haven't also, for those of you who've been following, I have not given up on the uh, uh, vertical to horizontal engine setup durability test. Uh, that will be upcoming. It's just uh, taking me some time. So I figured why not get something else out and have a little fun. So I think we're going to start with the leaf blower because it is fall and it's leaf season. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a look. Well, for starters, this baby has definitely been sitting a long time. Uh, and it looks like outside because it's all faded. But I put this in my car and it... Oh, wow. That is 100% deck stain. All right. So we're going to have to do probably a carb cleaning. Let's see if we spin. Yeah. Sounds like it has good compression. Spark plug looks pretty fancy. Got a little mini air cleaner up here on the carb. That's interesting. Important engine information. Home light. Okay, so this is a home light. 07 of 08. So it's a 2008 model engine. The Mighty 26 BP. Whatever that means. Whatever plug is in here is not the size that I've seen before. It takes a 19 millimeter. It's wet. Wet and uh, varnishy. There we go. Uh, so we'll just take a wire brush to it. Should be fine. <clears throat> Let's see if we have any sparkles. If I can find a place to ground it. There we go. Uh, got an on off switch on the handle. It is on. We do not currently have spark. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. We do have spark. So that's exciting. We have a 7 millimeter locking nut on this cute little air cleaner on top here. Wow, that's a little guy. Probably lose that in about five minutes. Really? No air cleaner. It's just a cover. That's surprising for a leaf blower, considering all the horrible conditions that these things are used to being subjected to. Oh, you know what? This is the choke. Gotcha. Okay. So, white line. Got a white line. This is not choked. That's choked. Okay. That's cool. Okay, let's see if we can light something on fire. We've got laughing gas with uh, top end lubricant as well. No, no it's not. This is good for two strokes because there's no lubricant in it. Because that's what you want for your engine. I feel really smart right now. Really smart. Okay, let's try that again. All right, we got a runner. You're gonna laugh at me, but I've always wanted to try this. Unfinished wood. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Uh, what do we call that sting? Is that just a nice clear coat?
Hmm. Let's see if I can find a brush. All right. There we go. Isn't that nice? It's a lovely, lovely color there. It brings out the beauty of the wood. Boy, we might have to just test this over the winter. Stained with gasoline that's 20 years old versus natural surface finish. And I've got an appropriate size brush too, of course, but... Oh yeah, we're gonna let that soak. Now that I've splattered it all over my cardboard, my ultra sterile working surface. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the rest of the gas in the tank, if there's any in there, and uh, give it a flush. Give it a shot of brake clean. Give it a shake. Maybe we can just prime the brake clean into the system. Oh, well, that's not so helpful. I'm going to remove the fuel tank because I don't know where this line is supposed to go. I'm assuming it's a return for when you're priming the system. But uh, yeah, I don't know where it goes. So let's find out. Got a T25 socket by the way not that any of you are going to ever reference this video for anything or own something like this but you never know okay so what do we have going on here oh there's a hole right there but i'm blind apparently so that's not very helpful we have lines that are pretty much junk well, that one's not so bad, but it's creased. We've got a filter inside that's clogged with a bunch of crap. Oh, there we go, got that. There, that's not looking so great, huh? I don't think I have any spares, but we'll just put some air to it, blast it out, give it a shot of brake clean, just like everything else. All right, it's a couple days later, and I had a camera malfunction, so we lost some data. But basically, took the carb off. I tried to pump the primer for a while, and it wouldn't move any liquid. So uh, this cover came off, and along with it, a nice long screw there. Carb popped right off, so let's go take a look at the carb. So in all reality, I don't know why, but I'm not good with two-stroke carburetors. Anytime I put them back together after taking them apart, they end up doing weird things like spitting gas out the intake. I mean, it looks okay. Maybe our flapper isn't flapping. It moves nice. Granted, it's been sitting in varnish for a while, so I guess we could take a look at the bottom really quick and see what we've got going on there. Let's see what's behind door number one. Hopefully it comes apart nice. Okay, there's our diaphragm. Pretty soft, actually. Oop, there we go. I mean, everything under here looks pretty nice. If I move this, it moves pretty easily. I'm still gonna pop the screw off, take our little needle out there and make sure the passage is nice and clear. Pretty darn clean. That port looks clean too. Wow. Yep. I put my mouth on the fuel line, blow right through it, so that's good. Blah. 
Put that guy back there. All right, that was torture to put back together. Let's get our cover back on. Now I'm able to blow in here, and when I move this guy down, uh, it turns the air, turns my airflow on and off. So our needle is successfully working that way. All right, so I guess I just scared it into working. Let's get back to reassembly. Found some fuel line. Bring over my cover, my fuel tank. I sprayed out the fuel tank with uh, some brake clean, and that cleaned it out nice. I'm actually gonna go spray this out really quick. This little filter's pretty nasty. That fuel filter was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Look at all the gum in this thing. I took compressed air to it and it <laughs> it barely moved any air through it. So I went inside, ran some hot water over it, and uh, I've been scraping the layers off. I think I'm going to call it good here in <laughs> just a second, but man oh man. can't believe the fuel tank didn't turn out to be worse than it was. Basically just needed to act like a little bit of a screen. I can pull through it now, so we'll go ahead and use it. Although it's like a seven cent part, but that's okay. So we're gonna need to run our fuel line in here. If I can get it in there. I got our fish through there with some difficulty. Man, that is a snug fit. I feel like I'm going to rip the line. We got about that much. It should get us to the bottom. Maybe just a little more. All right. Should be good. Put our awesome irreplaceable fuel filter on here. Tuck that down inside. Hopefully it goes down all the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Get down there. Yeah. Threaten you with scissors. There we go. I think we are all the way to the bottom. So, we have our supply line. And this thing bolts up here. So we need about that much for the inlet, and I have no idea which one's the inlet, because I'm smart that way. Figure out which way the gas comes out. So, oh, top one. Yeah, okay. Top one is our supply line. So we need about right there. Go ahead and give the snippy snippy. With our surgical scissors. That should be right lovely. And then we need a return line. And I might just recycle some of this garbage for the return line. I think that should work just fine. We've got our new supply line, got our new used return line. Both of those should work just fine. Okay, let's get the card back on there. Cable goes here. Got a T15 Torx bit. I don't know why they decided to use that on this side, but I didn't design it. This little guy goes on here. That is an eight millimeter. Snug, don't strip. Get our fuel can back on here. Well, you know what? It might have been smart to put the fuel lines on first. But that's okay. We'll get them on there one way or another. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's 
holds up the tank. We have here a T25. Is that even going where it needs to go? Probably not. That is stripped out, one or the other. Oh, well, if you line the threads up, that might help. Okay. Time for the, well, no, don't really need that yet. We'll put on our cute little topper here that doesn't actually clean the air. In other news, it's snowing outside. How lovely is that? October 20th, and it's snowing. Put a little gas in here. All right, 50 to one using some steel oil. Cross your fingers. Yeah, about that. For the inlet, and I have no idea which one's the inlet because I'm smart that way. Top one is our supply line. Okay, I'm not even gonna bolt this dang thing up. I'm just gonna put the fuel line on. And we'll see if the sucky sucky works. Not at all. You know what else is funny? You wanna know what's really funny? I had it backward the entire time. Oh. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Well, you know what? Let's look at the bright side here. A, I learned a lesson. <laughs> Uh, I think that's that's the only thing that's yeah that I got nothing all right I put this dumb thing back together actually it's not the machine's fault definitely my fault but oh well you win some you lose some okay got our top on full choke have fuel spark plugs connected primer wouldn't you know, it works when you plummet the correct direction. How crazy is that? Okay, well, fingers crossed again. No choke. Let's see, a little throttle. This throttle is super sticky. You're gonna have to address that. Nothing. Let's try a little giggle juice first before I start tearing this thing apart yet again. Woo! You guys all right? My bad. No choke, giggle juice engaged. Okay, not getting fuel apparently.
little delivery issue still present. Well, check that out. Low and high jets. Didn't even know they were there. Oh, glad I have uh, learning as part of the description of my channel. Now I got to figure out what special tool I don't have I can use to rip those out because they're probably both full of goo. Turns out I had the right tools after all. Called tin snips, locking pliers, and a file. All right, there we go. Low and high, left and right. I mean, they look <clears throat> they look okay. That piece of whatever on the right hand on the uh, high jet came out with it. It's almost like a little hair. Also, they were both set. It seemed only like an eighth of a turn out, which seems very, um, well, very lean to me. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Poke those with a, uh, a brush. Now let's see if we can get anything out of there. If I can find the hole. <laughs> oh, yep, that one's clear. Oh, yep, that one's definitely clear as well. Somebody took my light, tried to play with it. Did you do this, Hercules? Did you take my light? Did you take my light, Hercules? Are you a bad boy? Okay, relax, you're fine. Titan, did you take it? No, I wouldn't do that, Dad. Okay, whatever you say. And we're back. Oh, it's another day, another fun time with this little guy. So I took my Dremel, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a bit of a sinus thing going on with the weather change. Took my Dremel, carved some notches in those um, jets, or the adjustments, and uh, I screwed them all the way in. Like I said, when I pulled them out first, they were only out like a quarter of a turn, which seemed really, really low. So I'm going to set them both at one and a half turns out. I flipped this gasket so the little impulse port there lines up a little better. Uh, I'm going to throw it back together and we're going to give it a shot. I decided to do what I should have done and just put some new line on here because it's starting to leak. And now that I know this thing's actually going to work, uh, I'm okay with, you know, spending the seven cents it takes to put a little bit of fuel line on it. So go ahead and work on that. Back again. Got the new fuel line on there. Little primers doing primer things. Let's get our fancy choke cap on here. Had to find my little stubby screwdriver here. The top one is high. Speed. That took a while, didn't it? The bottom one is low speed. So, um, time for some test and tune. Let's see if it fires up. No choke. Oh, yeah. Maybe turn up that idle until we get our speed set, or our mixture set appropriately. Yep, I'm going to play with this for a while. All right, so I ran that back in, went out a half turn. Let's see, maybe it does just need a slight amount of, of mixture. I don't know.
button. All right, man, this baby runs great. Only issue now, we have no off button or kill switch, whatever you want to call it. So uh, let's take a look at that. Looks like we only have three screws we got to take off. So I'm going to pop those out and pull the trigger apart or the handle, whatever you want to call it. All right. So I got that loose as well. That's a, a tensioner of sorts to keep this from spinning. It lets you adjust the handle up and down. I took the other screws out. Now let's see what's back here. Okay. Whoop, I'm gonna lose my screws. Uh, we have a switch and some wires <clears throat> and our trigger for our throttle. I'm gonna get my meter and check the resistance across the switch and see if the switch is good. All right, got the meter hooked up. Handy dandy alligator. Yeah, alligator clips. Uh, so the gliders here are telling me that the switch isn't doing a dang thing. Uh, let's pop the switch off, see if we can figure out a way to rip it apart. Because, you know, we don't want to buy a new one. That costs money and stuff. Alright, I got you guys set up in your mason jar here. Let's take a look at the switch. One pin there. One pin there. Meter says out of limits. So I bet it was measuring across the coil. <clears throat> That's why we had 400 some ohms of resistance. Rock the switch, should ground the coil out, not doing anything. Let's find a way to see if we can tear it apart. A lot of these things you just pry a clip open or something like that and they come right apart. Um, but I don't know about this one. Looks like maybe I can put a, uh, a pick in there and the switch will actually come out. So give me a sec to play. I'll bring you right back. Got this handy dandy little screwdriver kit here. Let's see if we can find a little teeny bit. I think that'll work right there. That thing's miniature. All right, let's use our mini pry bar. Hello, Leaf. Thank you for stopping by. Let's see what we can do here. Come on out. You're coming on out. We know you want to go back to work. I'm going to watch some spring go flying across the room as soon as I get this thing popped out of here. Oh, don't be breaking. I got to pry this other side out. There we go. Okay, there's our spring. There's our contact, which is, I can't tell if that's greasy. Shop light, uh, not plugged in. New development that actually comes out of there. And I think it just rocks and it grounds out the other strap, or the other side of that switch. Anyway, figured I'd show you, but Gonna clean it up, put it back together. Got that little guy back in there. So I go to I go to take the little marble and grease it, and it's not attached. I brought it up here, touched it to the tip of my grease gun, and there it is. So I got lucky on that one. Okay, we're back together and hooked up. Here comes the moment of truth. Oh yeah. Alright, we are ready to rock. I'm gonna throw that trigger back together, handle, trigger, whatever. I'm gonna throw it back together. Uh, durability test. Fantastic. Sweet. Anyway, I'm gonna throw things back together, bring you then. Okay, handle is reassembled.
we're in business. Let's go test the wind capability. Honestly, this thing is comfortable. Got your handle right here. Let's see what she does. Wide angle. Took the deflector off, see if that does any difference or not. I like it better without. What a sweetheart. And we've reached the end. Hercules, don't look so sad. We'll come back, okay? Hercules is a black labradoodle golden bull, also known as an extreme mutt. Yeah, aren't you? Anyway, uh, this has been quite the adventure for me, and uh, it sounds kind of silly, but I feel pretty dang good, because I uh, never had any luck with two-stroke carbs, so this is uh, one of my first successes, and it didn't cost us much more than a new primer bulb, and some fuel line, and some gas, so I think I'm going to give it a spit shine, throw it on Marketplace, and put that toward... Uh, another piece of machinery we can play with. Got a couple more Willa runs coming up from some other side of the road items I found. And uh, so we'll have some more fun. All right, thanks for watching folks. Until next time, don't forget, I don't have a catchphrase. Okay, bye. <laughs>